People are always asking me, why are the Iowa caucuses so important that they're always first in the presidential nominating season? Well, the thing to remember is the caucuses are not first because they're important. They're important because they're first. So why are the caucuses first? Well, here's a bit of history. Iowa's had caucuses as long as it's been a state, but they moved into the national spotlight in the 1970s. The National Democratic Party was trying to become more inclusive and less driven by party bosses. Iowa Democrats revamped their caucuses to get more people involved, but that brought some complications. Caucuses are essentially precinct meetings that start the process of choosing delegates. But in order to fit precinct meetings into a schedule of county, district, and state conventions, the party needed to start early. The old story is that they figured out how long it would take to print all the paperwork on their elderly mimeograph machine. So in 1972, Iowa ended up being first in the nation. None of that would have mattered if the candidates and the media hadn't taken notice, but they did. In the 1972 presidential race, Senator George McGovern's campaign was managed by a young political whiz kid named Gary Hart. Hart noticed that Iowa was going to be first in the nation and decided to make a bid here as a way to get a media boost before the New Hampshire primary. It worked. McGovern came in a close second to Ed Muskie, the establishment favorite, and gained some positive media attention. Gary Hart, by the way, used that strategy himself with good results in his own 1984 presidential campaign. So that set the stage for 1976, when an unknown governor from Georgia decided to use the caucuses as a springboard into the national stage. When Jimmy Carter became president, that cemented the media attention for Iowa as the first test of candidate strength. Today, Iowa caucuses are first in the nation, mainly because the state insists on remaining first. The Republican and Democratic parties in the state actually work together, go figure, along with other early states like New Hampshire, to make sure the caucuses stay first in the nation. Ultimately, ever, however, it's the candidates who keep coming to Iowa and the media who keep coming to cover them who make the caucuses important. I hope that answers some of your questions about the Iowa caucuses and their history.